Yo, this is your boy Fist coming to you again with some great knowledgeable gameplay for the normal person on uh, YouTube. So, anyways, I see a lot of YouTube videos where uh, people are making videos that make fucking zero sense. You know, that basically douchebags on YouTube who are making videos and teaching people how to play the game like them, which is pussy. So, I'm basically going to go out of my way to show you if you still want to play like Call of Duty 4, you can play like Call of Duty 4. There's nothing wrong with the spawns. Only faggots who don't prestige and five-star generals who make videos on YouTube, on YouTube are fucking faggots. And they uh, camp like pussies and don't understand the game, period. So, uh, I don't fucking know how they got so many subscribers. It, it just really baffles me that people listen to fucking retards like that. But... You know, with my uh, wasted minute or so on this bullshit, let me get down to it. So, I want you to help you realize or understand how to more understand the spawns and the, and the pattern dynamics of the game. So, what I did was I, I'm showing you um, the domination, A, B, and C in the map. So, basically what that does is shows you that this is uh, high rise. There's only two places they can spawn, and I'm trying to give you an, an easy example of how to visualize this in your mind. Now, they either spawn at A or they spawn at C. I showed you that in the domination picture. Now I'm going to show you that in Team Deathmatch, which mostly all of you play. So if they're not at A, then obviously they're at C. And you see, when you first come out, if you're if you're spawning from C, then you could shoot across the map and probably kill somebody at A. Now, you might have some fast runners on your team that go past the point. And, the, you know, like the choke point is probably the helicopter B. And once you go past B, then they're probably going to be at C. So if they're not at C, then they're at A. And really... It's that simple. So basically, I'm going to show you like a higher version of it, and then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to show you on a, on a map so you can see it from there. See here I'm above the map, and you can see that I'm looking over A, B, and C. It's that simple. So let's take the map um, high rise. Now I've already shown you the videos and you can get an idea where I went over the fact about um, the A, B, and C. You got A, B, and C. Now in this map, you only can spawn in two spots, C and A. And C... Smaller maps are divided in two, so kind of visualize there's a circle around it, and then through the middle, there's a line. This is the helicopter pad, this is B, and this is uh, that propane paint that everybody blows up. Now, if your team is going from C to A, and your, most of your team is over here, then they're going to spawn over here. So you know they're either going to come from underground or they're going to come this way. So, I mean, it's really simple on this type of map. You only have two spots where they're going to spawn. Now, I showed you on derail the, uh, I mean, I showed you on high rise. Now, to help visualize this for you, I would suggest playing domination. Domination this is the way that you can communicate with your team. This is where you could say, listen, they're at A, they're at B, and they're at C. And here you can see what I'm talking about. No pun intended. Ha, ha, ha. No, anyways. So, 
here you see, as I'm coming about, the movement usually generally flows. If, if you're spawning at A, that means they're going to be spawning at C. And I'm talking about Team Deathmatch. I'm trying to help people. So when you're in a regular game of Team Deathmatch, which a lot of which the majority of online players play, is to help your team visualize where the enemy's at and how the flow works. If you basically I will cover these in the videos after this video to help you visualize what I'm actually talking about. So, 